Hello beautiful people, this is Tactical Mind, my name is Loss, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is of course going to be going over the rework, border, and breakdown of customs and supply room. The operators we'll be ringing today are Mira, Kahid, Bandit, Mute, and Jaeger. And without further ado, let's go and jump right in today's video. Alright, so the first Mira spot is going to be in Pillbox. And because I actually just reworked this whole wall and how it changed, it's better just to hold pillbox like this with the mirror rather than obviously the previous mirror setup. Um, so it's easier to hold it down like this. And they actually got rid of the line up top to where there was a gape in between. And you could have tossed your C4 above, which uh, kind of sucks. Um, but again, you still have a good bit of cover from this window, so you can just toss out a C4 this way. This second mirror spot is my favorite. What we're going to do is actually punch out this entire side. So pretty much no one is going to be physically in uh, storage or on the B site. Because this mirror of course will hold it down all on its own. So we're going to open all this up just to have visual all the way into a workshop. Main stairs and then anybody coming from the main hallway. So of course Mira will be playing here. You know that open for the C4 in case they get uh, tucked in the corner or whatever, or behind the bookshelf because there is a, a gap in between here. Just in case you guys don't know this, so there's a gap now instead of all of it being closed off. Um, let's go over reinforcements real quick. Of course, main wall two here, one on the Mira, one in pillbox, two for the hatches, some more hatch right here, hatch right there. Of course, other mirror wall, and then the two on the east side of customs. I don't think I already pointed that one out. Um, and again, Mara sits here, uses uh, C4 for plant. You guys know the you guys know the deal. You guys already know the deal. With Kahid, we're just gonna throw the claw around the on the hatches. Hatches are always the priority when playing Kahid. It doesn't really matter where we throw them. Uh, probably best to throw them off the reinforcement themselves in case there's a Maverick or uh, just any one of those operators like that. As for where uh, Kay's going to be playing, of course he's going to be using another one of those Maras and Pillbox. So he'll be using this one to look into the main lobby. Anybody pushing this direction. And of course, same thing, he has his uh, C4. And you can uh, quick peek using the window right here. And the Black Mirror as your information. Um, so behind you is going to be exposed, obviously, this doorway is not going to be barricaded in any way, because uh, there's not a window. Okay, well there's a window right here. Um, I think there actually just was one window in here. Yeah, okay, I had a brain fire. I don't know why. I thought there was a second window right here for a second, but it was just, uh, it was just a desk and shit right there. Um, anyways, so of course, it's going to be going back to communication with your teammates. Uh, of course, this is for more like three stack, four stack, five stack teams. Uh, whoever's playing this mirror right here is going to be responsible for watching your ass. Uh, of course, the only two ways we'll be looking at is this window and this hallway. So if anybody slips past the mirror, or mirror's reloading, or mirror's overwhelmed, hey, Kahid, someone's pushing behind you on pillbox. Of course, uh, he reacts to that information, pre-fires, prone, do whatever the fuck you want to do to react to that uh, specific situation. Okay, so I brought Kahid, Bandit, and Mew, all three of the denying operators for at least uh, anti-wall breach. Um, it's for multiple reasons. One is to protect the main walls, of course along with the, the mirror walls um, and of course the meat jammers will get whatever is left over along with the uh, comms or intel from doorways and whatnot. So Bandit is going to be placing both his batteries on main wall. And Jaeger will set his ADS in here and of course everyone knows again the Buck, Ash, Sophia will pop this open and we'll toss a nade, right? Or Maverick will try to uh, burn out the bottom or some normal shit like that. Jaeger will be there to Jaeger trick. Um, I said this in my last, again, uh, border uh, video. He can just pick it up and place it down since there's a 10 second cooldown. Or uh, no, 5 second cooldown, I'm sorry. Is it 10 seconds? Don't quote me on that. I I'm not a Jaeger main, so I, I want to fucking know. Anyways, the last two batteries will uh, be on the mirrors. So the one in pillbox and the one looking into storage. Once again, because mirrors, uh, mirrors are very valuable to have, you don't want any Hibana Bellas or Ace charges coming onto there. 
Um, so for the first minute or so, Bandit is pretty much going to be just Bandit tricking this main wall. Not going to be focusing on this wall because of course it doesn't have any batteries on it. Uh, focusing tricking this wall with Jaeger for the first minute or so just to kind of keep it uh, up as long as possible. And of course to deny time. The number one thing as a defender of, of what you want to do is deny as much time and waste as much time as you fucking possibly can. Uh, that's the priority. So of course, best bandit trigger where we can where we can do that shit. That's the person you need to have in that role. Uh, apart from that, if he can leave and escape sites uh, safely, of course he can be roaming around on the bottom floor while his uh, other German buddy Jaeger will be roaming up on the top floor. Um, and if not, he can sit in between here. He can play off the bomb. He can just sit in between. Of course, play off here and play off here if he needs to or cannot leave sight. Um, so yeah. And just so you guys know, from the test servers, they said they were going to try something out with friendly gadgets uh, like Nitro Cells on Electrified C4 or, uh, sorry, <laughs> Nitro Cells on Electrified Walls. It does not work, by the way, so they did not carry that out. It, it completely destroys it. So don't want you guys losing your rank games because uh, you guys thought that shit. Okay, so first me generally going down on the east main wall. Second will be on the drone hole. You can place it on top of this platform too because Twitch drones won't be able to shoot it. Not that they'll be able to get anyways, it should be like actually floating too. Yeah, that's what I find funny. Um, I know there's a good few amount of people that don't know about this drone hole. Uh, it caught me off guard a few years ago when I first started this game. So we're going to smack a mid gemmer here. Again, not a lot of people even use it on the attacking side because again, just not a lot of people are aware of uh, that drone hole. Uh, last one since this is a la. this is a double doorway and this is also a double doorway which requires of course to smack in the middle to cover it it's just not a smart move as mute so we're actually going to use this corner right here just actually push it out as far as we can so that way you can get at least half the doorway so you can see a little icon next to my health bar or my health circle, or the fuck you want to call it, it, covers half the doorway. Until I get to this side and then it's gone. But uh, at least you block some, some rotation, some communication along with this side too. Yeah, you block almost the whole path right here. So again, my meat mains, if you guys don't know this trick, it can go through walls, obviously. Um, not just for jamming up devices such as uh, any hard breaching tools, but drones as well. As for Mute is going to be playing at, it is, he's also going to be anchoring down a little bit. He's going to be in the sight, kind of swinging out if he needs to. Or if he doesn't want to anchor, he can also do a, do a flex kind of roam, and he can just sit and workshop. Since, since, blah, since there's only two doorways, I cannot talk today. Since there's only two doorways, he can just camp on one of them, or just sit in the corner of one of them, and just watch for anybody coming in or pushing in on him. Alright, first ADS will of course go on the double doorway, leading into a uh, split lobby. Second one you can put in here. Then I need smoke grenades in case they try to do a smoke plant. Of course the last one will be for tricking. So, you don't need to worry about this drone hall, of course, because you meet it off. And don't need to worry about here, because this is also blocked off by these uh, storages or cabinets and whatnot. So you see here, uh, Jaeger trick for a few. Um, of course, when you burn out any grenades. So uh, you probably won't know what operator they are. They could be a Finca, a Maverick. Um, not Doka because she doesn't have names anymore. Just anyone with a frag grenade, of course, count two. And when you're done, you can either pick it up, move it somewhere else, where you think you need it uh, somewhere else, or you can just leave it here for future use. For barbed wire, I'm going to put this right here on double door. And the same thing for right here. As for Jaeger is going to be roaming around, it's going to be of course a security room, says this is a heavily vertical pushed uh, site. Fuse is popular in the higher ranks to be played on here, since this entire floor is soft. 
Um, and hatches, of course, are very important for the attackers to open up to apply more pressure to the defenders. So playing up here in the security room, like what I was saying in the last video, sitting up here using this uh, little desk wall and opening up here to watch this doorway along with the doorway here in case you're not getting pressure from the window or other doorway from the balcony. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Of course, going now on uh, customs and supply room on, of course, some rework map border. Again, there's not much uh, huge changes, but uh, literally just that change in supply room where they switched the doorway and they switched the wall was fucking amazing because now there's cover for the doorway and you don't get fucking sniped immediately uh, in case you're caught up and you're moving too fast, right? Um, but that's a perfect setup for Mira, and of course they changed the pillbox to where it's better for Mira to use and play on. Uh, which of course I took advantage of that as I usually do when uh, either new maps come out or map reworks or whatever. I like to take advantage of the site and of course turn the site into a weapon. That is what you want to do when it comes to defending. You want to use the most out of it. Um, there's that. Uh, of course another video coming out soon. Uh, of course on the rework map border. Uh, I am just loving this map so fucking much. Uh, also, let me know what you guys think about last season's charm. I think it was absolutely shit, especially for, uh, honestly, whatever rank you're playing at. Um, I got plat, of course, last season, and it just looks fucking ugly. I'm literally going to use uh, Shadow Legacy again as my main charm. It just looks so fucking clean. But I look this this season up. My God, let's take a look at this shit for you guys that haven't already. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at Diamond. If I was playing at that level, I would so love the Diamond Charm. Champion looks cool too. Platinum looks fucking amazing, but... Oh my god, Diamond looks amazing. You guys don't know, fucking purple is my favorite color. So it just looks so goddamn beautiful. This is this is a nice charm. Uh, they look kind of shitty for the copper, bronze, silver, and gold. Pretty much platinum higher looks fucking just... God, it looks fucking dope. Um, anyways, this is the outro. I don't know why I'm talking about charms and shit. Um, not varsity. Um, <laughs> God, I don't gotta twitch anyways. I don't gotta fucking charm this game. Anyways, without uh, talking his ear off too much. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, a comment, share, and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Of course, more future content will be coming out. Um, and uh, peace.